Hello traders, so in today's video I'll be answering a question uh, that I got asked uh, during the past week uh, in terms of how do you identify the direction or what, what, what other tools can you use to actually identify the direction when it comes to trading uh, with fundamental analysis, right? So I'll be touching on uh, this concept uh, and I actually did a video, uh, I think the video was around June 12th, the yeah, early, early June, that's when I did this video where I was talking about the commitment of traders report and I think I titled the video as uh, how to trade profitably uh, using the COT report, right? So I'll be touching on that as well to just give you the answer to that question, right? So in essence, this uh, during that video, I was looking at GBP, JPY, right? And that was based on the one hour time frame and the and the price was still around this level right here the market was still around uh this level right here i had also entered another buy position in that right a scale a scaled in another buy position and price was around 200 yeah it was around 200 on gbp jpy when i was doing that video right explaining the cot report and how you can actually use it to to identify the direction right and if you if you look at that or, or watch that video again which i'm gonna take it up on top if you watch that video I, I i explain or give you a breakdown introduction onto the cot report how to use it how to look at it and how to actually uh understand it right but this was the trade right gbp jpy and why did i do gbp jpy specifically because the large speculators the hedge funds they were actually adding more buy positions on gbp and that is why i shared this video so price was still around 200 currently yes we've seen this uh sort of intervention last week from the from the from the ministry of finance in japan via the bank of japan obviously and then we've seen price drop to 205 but at some point price had reached a peak of 207 right so obviously i've scaled out of my position as you can see I've, I've, clo I've took partial profits as, as, as the price continued moving high, right? But what is the point, right? What am I trying to get to here? I'm trying to get to that using the COT report in conjunction or in confluence with your fundamental analysis is a game changer because it's going to give you an idea of the sentiment based on the large speculators, large institutions. If by sentiment, I mean, are they buying a certain currency or are they selling a certain currency right so that also gives you more conviction in your trading Con gives you more conviction in your actual uh in the bias that you've actually chosen for for that specific currency right but also we are going to look at an indication of the positions based on the retail traders because remember the cot is based on the smart money the institutional traders but we are also going to look at the forex sentiment via my fx book that is based on the retail traders and we understand that retail traders are generally wrong right so that means that if we're seeing uh, institutions or large players buying more of the gbp right against the giant selling more of the japanese yen then if we're looking at the actual currency pay gbp jpy on a forex sentiment we should be seeing more retail traders selling because retail traders are, are wrong, right? The sooner we accept that fact and try to change the reasons why retail traders are wrong, which is obviously because they all trade based on technical analysis, right? And to be honest with you, if your method that you are using, you can clearly find someone on social media who's also using the very same method, then chances are, you are on the wrong side of the majority so you are, you're on the wrong side of this of the spectrum right you are part of the majority that generally root, lose money in the in, in the forex market right that's just the, that's just the honest truth of how things are right so now let us go into what let us go into the actual cot report and let us see how it looks now right because remember like i said that video i did it on the 12th of june right so we're gonna look at the cot report i'm not gonna explain how to understand it and what each column actually means right i did that on the other video just watch the first video so we are going to go into the detail reports and we are specifically going to look at the the pound gbp right so i did the video around the 12th of june so it was after uh so it was around this week right we still had data for this week right so at that point as you can clearly see we had forty-three thousand long positions on what on the on on the pound and 
in that video i also went back a couple of weeks later sorry by by a couple of weeks later i meant on the report right i also went back in time and then i showed you that around may 14th they had negative 20000 uh, positions on the pound which means that they were selling the pound right they were net short this remember this is the deep pockets this is the large money this is people who or individuals or institutions that actually move the market or have the ability and potential to move the market when they position themselves right so this was clearly giving us sentiment that they are shifting from what from massively selling the pound to now massively buying the pound right so that was clearly showing a shift in sentiment a shift in positioning based on what based on the large players right so what 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 then what and then as we continue to move uh, uh to fast forward we can clearly see that may 14th negative 20,000 may 21st 1,000 long positions right and then now let us look at where we are today right so where are we sitting today 84,000 right so from may 14th at negative 20 now we are at what 84,000. so during the week where i shared this video we we only had positions of what 43,000 long positions on the pound and i obviously i broke it down to everyone and i shared with everyone that pay attention to the cot report this is how you can actually use it to your trading right so now let us let us see this as well right so as you can clearly see now we're sitting at 84,000. what 84,000 long positions right so they've been adding long positions this whole time from 43 52 47 44 62 84 right then obviously if we now go into a price chart that's definitely evident because we've been seeing that the pound has been gaining strength across the board right whether against the dollar whether against the canadian dollar whether whether it's against the euro the new zealand dollar the japanese yen you name it but the pound has been gaining strength across the board right and then as you can clearly see this uh, sort of cell is highlighted in a pale green color so that's the 52 week high right so this is the highest it has been in terms of long positions or pos on the positive side uh in the last 52 weeks right so that means that they've been buying they've been selling most of the time and now they've been buying most of the time and or, or, or in the past couple of weeks and that is why we've seen what uh strength uh come into the into the actual pound right so now we are going to go back to the charts right and obviously this makes sense why let's go back to a higher time frame right this makes sense now why we can clearly see that it has been a one-sided train right so a one-sided move on gbp jpy we can even look at uh let us even look at other uh gbp currencies gbp aud right it's been the same thing it's been dropping most of the time but now it's rebounding obviously like i said in the first video that we also need to understand the actual dynamics based on based on the macroeconomics right based on the economic indicators how is is there a divergence in central banks right in terms of monetary policy we need to have a clear understanding between those two economies but another perfect example is uh gbp chf right it's been flying it's been flying as you can clearly see it's been pushing up ever since the early june uh what 18th of june that is when it bottomed out around the 17th of june and it has been going up since and you can clearly see since may 14th that is when they started what after may 14th sorry that's when they started adding more long positions on the pound so this is how you could have used based on the video that i shared on june 12th almost 30 days later Right. not even almost 30 days later because now it's june which we, had, we we actually today's june uh, 14th right so 30 days later you could have also used this to your advantage right as you can clearly see and then looking at also another one it's gbp cad also the same thing it has been flying right pushing higher across the board right why because looking at the positions of people who actually or individuals or institutions like i said who have the ability to move markets they've been positioning themselves to be buying the pound right so this is how or this is one of the tools that you can use to actually give you an edge when it comes to getting on the right side of the market obviously understand what is happening based on the macro perspective based on the uh, economic indicators use that first and foremost and then use the cot report as what as confluence right because the market has yeah essentially you can clearly see what what has been happening with the pound right we can also look at gbp usd same thing with gbp usd has been rallying higher right so this is what i wanted to share with everyone 
when it comes to uh, the actual COT report. And obviously to answer the question of uh, how you can actually confidently identify the direction based on fundamentals, right? And also, like I said, we are also going to look at the what? At the COT, at the, at the Forex sentiment or retail Forex sentiment. So let us look at um, GBP CHF, right? It will definitely take us to it. So let, let's start with uh, GBP JPY. Right, so that it's gonna give us a clear indication. Remember the COT report. Okay, let us stop the COT report from loading. Let us focus on this on this on the sentiment here. You can clearly see GBP JPY, 71% of retail traders have been selling, right? And obviously retail traders are wrong. So if majority of retail traders are selling, then prices will definitely go higher, right? So you can clearly see now this is another tool that you can use as confluence. To actually identify the direction let us go into the daily time frame uh, or let us select the daily uh, period so that you can clearly see what has been happening right so this was june may 3rd essentially but you can clearly see on this chart whenever the red is above the green that means that they are net short retail traders are massively selling so as you can clearly see since june 4th i entered around june 4th so that's around here that is when I took my buy positions on GBP JPY, May 14th. So May 14th around, okay, it was the next week, the next weekend, uh, which was not the next weekend, but the next Tuesday. So May 14th, that is when they still had negative 20,000 short positions on the pound based on the COT report. But after that, they've been adding more buy positions. But what has been happening with the, with the retail traders, they've actually been adding more sell positions. And you can clearly see more sell positions than long positions. And that is why prices kept on moving higher and higher. So now you can clearly see how you can use these two uh, tools to your advantage. COT report, you want to be on the same side as that. But the Forex sentiment, you want to be on the opposite side of that right you want to be in the opposite direction to what the forex sentiment is actually telling you look at gbp cad you can you we clearly saw how it has been rallying higher and higher but you can clearly see 97 percent of retail traders are actually selling gbp cad so this should tell you something about us as retail traders that we predominantly we are on the wrong side of the market right so let us also go into the daily time frame you can clearly see right what has been happening most of the time long positions sorry short positions then long positions on the retail side of things but if you go into the cot report they've been massively long on the on the on what they've been massively long on the on the on the pound even with the canadian dollar we can also look at the canadian dollar you can clearly see they've been massively short on the canadian dollar sitting at over hundred thousand short positions right around the same time let us go back to 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 may 14th right so around may 14th you can clearly see canadian dollar they were only 80,000 short positions. Obviously, they've been increasing prior to to May 14th. They were increasing more short positions on the Canadian dollar. But you can clearly see how now you could pay the two and then use the forex sentiment as well and be like, oh, the the COT, the institutions, the smart money are buying the Cana the pound and selling the CAD or the Canadian dollar. If I go into GBP CAD currency pay, majority is actually what is actually selling. GBP CAD, so that means that GBP CAD is gonna go higher in line with the COT report, right? So these are the two tools that you can actually use uh, that, that that will aid you in getting good or more precision on the direction that you take when it comes to the Forex market or in any other asset class essentially, right? When it, whether you're looking to trade energies uh, or, or by energy, I mean oil, or whether you're looking to trade uh, even metals, because if you click on metals here, it's gonna show you the COT report for metals gold silver if you click on energy then you obviously get to see for oil right so if you're looking to trade oil you can also use this as confluence to see how the sentiment looks from a smart money and institutional perspective right so this is the video that i wanted to share with you and obviously just to answer that question and use this guys use this tool it's gonna benefit you right but watch the first video so that this video makes more sense because in the first video i break down what the whole cot report means and how you can actually use it how to read these columns and understand everything right so i explained that in the first video but in this video it's just to give you an update that if you had watched the the first the video on that i released or uploaded on june 12th and actually looked to just buy the pound you probably wouldn't be where you are right now in terms of 
losses the, the amount of losses that you've taken right you'd be in a better position because you would have just been looking to buy the pound against obviously cur other currencies or economies that were showing weakness right and you would you would be laughing uh, uh, at this time right so that's what i wanted to share with you in this video right so obviously as always if you like this video if you found value in this video obviously subscribe don't forget to subscribe if you have if you have not yet subscribed and don't forget to like the video share the video with your friends or anyone else who you feel might benefit from this knowledge and if you did not know the cot report or how to even use the cot report share, share in the comments uh, how you'll start implementing it moving forward right or if you've used it before and it has dramatically improved your trading or transformed your trading also let me know down in the comments right so i wanted to share this video with this video with you guys and also don't forget to join the free telegram group just click the first link down in the description and if you want to learn more in terms of using fundamentals and using all of these tools then you can also join uh, <clears throat> the 12 day uh fundamental analysis mastery challenge it's an accelerator program where i get you up to speed with understanding fundamentals so that you can start implementing them immediately and effectively so as to improve your trading in a very short period of time right that 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 if you want to learn more about the 12 day fundamental analysis uh, mastery challenge click the second link down in the in the description but like i said if if you're not part of the telegram group then you're missing out right so until the next video guys Cheers.